Hello folks, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we'll go ahead and talk about page layouts. So let's say you have you go to the position object, when you click on the new, you see these fields. These are very unformatted way, like I wanted to have the a kind of sections based on what type of field is. So I wanted to see, I want to make a page layout, like the page should look more beautiful. So what you can do is you right click on this one, you see on the quick access menu, you see this edit layout, click on the edit layout and currently the page looks like this this is the page layout now what I wanted to do is I don't want it to have add a new section here and I wanted to add name it as compensation so I'll go ahead and add this new section when you see this green arrow means you can drop the section here so you make it as you drop it and then you can name the section as compensation and then uh, I wanted two column or one column so you can make it two column and click OK. So now it has created a compensation section for you and now you can drag the fields to the sections. Since the field that you see here are graded out but you can always drag it from here. If I move the field back here then this field won't be graded out. It'll, it'll come, it'll be uh, bold. Now you can drag it from here or you can drag it from here. So you moved it and this is what you have done. So you created a new section and you added these two fields under this section. I can also add another section here. So you go ahead and, and drag it and call this section as required language. And for this section, I wanted to make it one column. Means I don't want two places to be added. So I will make it one column. So I'll add the Java and JavaScript under this section. So I go ahead and click save. So this is called as the layout. So now you go ahead and click this one. So now you see, if you go back, you see that it looks more neat and clean. You created a section information that was by default, you get it. Compensation and required language you created and you added minimum and maximum pay. And then you have added the Java and JavaScript to it. So now also you see there is a red mark here. What does that red marks mean? That means it's a required field. Means you cannot save this object without providing the value for this field. So if you try to save it, or you have given every other field, you have provided all the fields, but you have not provided the value for this, it will go ahead and give you an error saying this is a required field. I can also make a field required through the layout. So if you go back to the edit layout, when you hover the mouse to one of these fields, there is this ranch button that you see. You click on it and you can make this as a read only or required. So if you click on the required field and click OK, don't forget to save this. That's the most important step. Once you do that, you will see the red sign comes over the location field. And now if you don't provide the location field, it won't be allow you to save it. So if I try to do that, I need to have a location selected. So I'll go ahead and create this. So now I'll want, I won't get an error. So this is called as the page layout. You can always do the same thing for the candidates. You can always group together similar kind of fields together and uh, you can create it. Uh, that's an exercise for you if you want to do it. And in the next video tutorial, we'll go ahead and talk about validation rules. Till then, stay tuned and thank you.